Hi, I'm going to mix PLO gel using the syringe to syringe method. The ingredients needed for this preparation are Fagron's Paloxamer 20% gel, lecithin isopropyl palmitate or lip oil as it's commonly known, and an active ingredient. In this case, we're going to be using promethazine. The unique properties of the Paloxamer gels are that at room temperature, this preparation is a very thick gel. So here is your Paloxamer gel at room temperature. If we refrigerate this preparation, we get a liquid. Here is some Paloxamer gel that's been refrigerated. This makes Paloxamer a unique vehicle. When it is applied to the skin, it thickens. So what a great occlusive for any topical preparation. The next ingredient we'll look at is the lip oil. This is a combination of lecithin and isopropyl palmitate. This is a penetration enhancer. So the thought is, if you have a nice occlusive gel, let's put a penetration enhancer in. This is where the PLO gel system really has some value. The last ingredient will be our active. In this case, we're using promethazine hydrochloride. The first step is to calculate the quantity of ingredients needed in your formulation. Then you can begin the weighing process. I've pre-weighed the ingredients that we'll be using. We have promethazine hydrochloride, we have lip oil, and we have our paloxamer, which we have from the refrigerator, which is now liquefied. The other components that we'll be using are two lure lock syringes, 10 ml. We'll need a red lure to lure connector. We'll need a clear lure to oral connector and one oral amber syringe with a cap. I will now mix this preparation together using the syringes. The first thing we'll do is take our two lure lock syringes and the red lure to lure connector, thread the device onto the end of the syringe. We'll remove the plunger and connect these two devices together. Now we're doing a total of a 10 ml or 10 gram total volume, so 2.4 mLs of this preparation will be lip oil. So we've already pre-measured this, but I'll just pour it into the 2.4 mL mark. Once this is done, we'll take our pre-measured promethazine hydrochloride, we'll place this into the syringe, the last step is to add the Paloxamer 20% gel to the 10 ml mark on your lure lock syringe. The issue we run into is we have an air bubble trapped in the syringe. So all we'll do is you tip the device upside down and let the air come up to the top. And in one motion, we can disconnect. And we have to break the seal that is on the plunger. Then we can gently connect the two syringes back together. Now we can start our mixing process. And what we'll feel is resistance, and that's due to shear and heat as this preparation goes through the lure lock to lure lock coupler. It's important to have a nice homogeneous preparation when you're done with your mixing process. The next step is to put all the preparation into one syringe, remove the red lure to lure connector and the lure lock syringe. We connect the lure to oral connector, we'll thread it, we'll take our oral amber syringe, remove the plunger, we place the syringe into the fitting and you push the cream so it just peeks out the back. We do this in order to get rid of the air that would be in the hub if you keep the plunger in the device. The last step is to replace the plunger and push down to the desired dose. In this case, we'll do a 0.1 cc. This preparation is now ready to be dispensed in the oral amber syringe. It's important with the PLO gel because it does have a greasy and tacky feel that the application site be covered with an occlusive dressing.